Hi, and welcome back to Metal Tips and Tricks. Behind me is a door, but not just any door. It's a door to a secret room in my shop, a place that I've never shown on YouTube before. And if you'd like to see what's inside this door, you gotta promise me one thing, not to tell anybody, all right? Hear that, Adam? Keith, Keith, Tom, Randy, you know, the usual suspects. This is a top secret room, so you're not allowed to share this knowledge with anybody. It's my grinding room. It's where I have my surface grinder, my tool grinders, vertical grinders, and sanders. So why don't you guys come on and join me, but remember, shh, don't tell anybody. Here we are in the grinding room. Pretty cool place. Now I gotta warn you guys something that there's always, there's always something, in the first 15 seconds, there's always something a little strange that happens that happens here. It happened again, didn't it? Kind of bouncing around the room. Yeah, it's kind of hard to walk up to a machine and then bounce over to another and back and forth. Luckily, it only lasts for about 15 minutes. But the thing I hate the most is sometimes it changes my clothing and I'm wearing flip-flops. And I just, you know, this is gonna be some really good troll food, isn't it? Flip-flops in the shop. Oh well. So let's get back to the tour. I'm gonna to take you over to the Herrig 6x18 grinder. The Herrig 6x18 grinder is probably one of my favorite machines in my entire shop. I purchased this about a year and a half ago and I actually did a video of me picking it up. And well, let's just say since that video and now it's changed a lot. The original shape it was in and color, well, let's just say it wasn't very attractive to me. The other thing that it's interesting about these hair rigs is they have extra panels that come out on both sides and then this panel here originally was recessed and it's set up for electronics, hydraulics and also a cooling system. Well mine didn't come with that so what happens is it made this whole cabinet empty and one of my shop philosophies is there can never be emptiness under a machine because square footage in any shop no matter how big it is is important. Another thing is, I like to have all my tools and tooling for a machine with it and as close to it as possible. So what I ended up doing was, what I call the appendages, I cut those off and made them flat on both sides. The left side, I put a drawer and a door in. And for the middle, I had a set of drawers that I could put in here that fit just right and hold all the tooling that I need for this machine. So it's a great advantage to have everything together in one place. Now, this side of the cabinet, what I really like about it is this door opens up and all my grinding wheels are stored inside here. So I think that is just very cool storage. The other thing is, is these cabinets or grinding rooms are very dirty naturally. And by keeping the grinding stones in there instead of hanging on the wall, it allows them to stay cleaner and what do I want to say, more presentable to get to and easier to use. So like I said, this is, has an 18 inch chuck on it, 16 inches deep. I also have A very heavy, small, but compact magnetic chuck. And here's the on and off. Now, I don't have variable voltage for it. It's actually an interesting chuck because most of these chucks, I think, are around 90 volts. This one here runs actually at 400 volts. But it never seems to heat up. It's very old technology. Inside here, there's actually a radio tube. So uh, gives you an idea how old it is. But it really doesn't matter because the magnet still works. Now I want to show you guys the grinding cabinet because no grinding room would be cool unless you had a grinding cabinet. And the one in here is what I call all the really cool tooling. And I've pulled some of it out. We've got a 5C uh, adapter here. This is actually a Hardinge. So I can put any 5C collet in here put whatever I need in here for either grinding 
where I want to also change its different angles on it or I can put on the tool cutter grinder and also serve the exact same purpose. And a lot of these tools cross over between the machines and it's up to your imagination to figure out how to utilize them in both locations. Here's one of my favorites is this grinding fixture. And it was really designed for the tool cutter grinder, but I do use it a lot on the surface grinder because what happens is this head will pivot, this arm pivots up and or rotates up and down, this pivots, this pivots, so it actually has four different axes on it. So what's great about it is let's say I have a special lathe bit that I need to be consistent with because I have to keep going back to the lathe and sharpening it, but I need to keep those angles identical every time. Well, I can set this up to do that. So it's very nice. Of course, I've got a couple little grinding vices. This one's kind of a unique one. Um, I think it's homemade. I'm not exactly sure, but what I do like is instead of having just one single button back here for the clamping system, it actually works off a of rod. I really, really, really like that. Now down in here, I have other grinding fixtures and sharpening fixtures that um, are kind of unique to me because I don't have complete sets of anything. So as I've been building this, I kind of find different things, modify them to work with what I have. Um, up here is an air bearing, and you set these up for grinding the flutes on end mills. And what's great about them is because the way they work, they work virtually without friction. So once you put air pressure to this, this will pivot completely free of friction. So you get a nice, clean, smooth grind on every edge. And there's a lot more stuff in here that I'm not going to go through just because it's overwhelming, but hopefully I will do some videos on using a lot of these tools. Now I want to take you to the tool cutter grinder. This is a KOE tool cutter grinder. It's actually the largest one that I know that they've made. So it makes it a very versatile machine. Now it looks very similar to a surface grinder except the head here can rotate and move in and out in multiple directions. And what that also causes is a question. What are the X, Y, and Z axis on this? So if I were to, if this were all set up for CNC, how you would program it for X, Y, and Z, I'm not really sure because as we all know, Z follows the shaft. Well, this shaft can rotate and that changes your X, Y, and Z right there. Also, if you have a work head like this, this is a power driven work head so I can actually do some light cylindrical grinding. So this can also be considered Z. This can be considered Z. Makes it very confusing. I've tried to do some research on it. Well, let's just say I haven't found out what X, Y, and Z is. So what I'm going to talk about is some of these knobs on the front and in a way that's just basic operation. So this one here drives the table in and out. This one here raises and lowers the head and this one turns the table left and right and it's also a two-speed if I can find the second gear there we go and there's the slow speed something else that's very rare on this particular surface or tool grinder is these knobs here there's a similar set of knobs on the back if you're trying to get your cutting wheel lined up to a particular cutter and it's hard to reach any of these and see it at the same time, well, I can reach over to the back side and work off the knobs on that. So it's very nice. This head is set up to where I can actually change the pulleys here to get different speeds out of the wheels, like if I wanted to speed it way up and use a lot smaller wheels, I can also do that. And there are times you have to. Now, what is unique about this grinding head itself, because of 
the versatility of this motor. Now, when I take you over to the small KLE, you'll see that it just has the motor on it and it's not as versatile as this one. So let's take a look at the small one. This tool cutter grinder is also a KLE. And as you can see, it's considerably smaller, but it has the same operating levers. It has a two-speed transmission here. It moves the table in and out and also the head up. And as you can see, this has just a single motor for the head. And I'm setting this one up for doing specialty drill bits. And I'm going to put the air bearing on here to do flutes on end mills. This is a Herrig step grinder. And what it does, it actually operates on a cam and moves the cutter in and out so you can do different types of drill bits. A uh, really great example is you can do step drill bits. So it makes it a very interesting device to add to a surface grinder. Over here is a couple other grinders just for hand work. And of course, my favorite tool bit gr grinder, the Tool Doctor. Well, there we go, just a quick tour, a quick, quick tour, quick tour of the, there we go, the grinding room, or should I say, the secret grinding room. Pretty cool place. I can't wait to actually start shooting some videos in here. There were some more things I had planned for this room. I have a complete vacuum system designed and ready to go, but recently we decided that we're going to be pulling out of the shop and moving to a new location, so I don't want to put any more energy into here than I have to, but there'll be more on that later. I also want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. We've been growing this channel very quickly. It's been a lot of fun. And I also want to say sorry that I haven't been able to get back to everybody's emails and also just the, all the thank yous I get on my channel. I've been incredibly busy. I'm also sorry that I haven't been doing any shop videos because I had a couple big projects come in here that I couldn't videotape for certain, well, let's say, black helicopter, UFO, Chuck Key conspiracy things. But soon, I should be getting back to doing regular videos. So I, again, I apologize that I haven't been back in here. And also, leave me your supportive comments, positive comments, and even some of your, how do I want to say, criticism that's done in a polite way. All right, guys, till next time, go out in your shop, build something cool. Thanks. Mm -hmm.